Hello, good evening. Good night. Good evening. I always say good good evening, but it's good night uh -huh, because because it is eight o'clock. How are you? Oh, uh, Delhi, Delhi or or, or Del? Why? What is your name? What's your uh, name? Teo Marin. Ah, Teo. <laughs> Teo. Del ah. es en la máquina. Ah, okay. And I always call you Del Teo. Teo. All right. Okay. Hi, Herman. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. All right. Oh, my God. I... Yeah, very well. Yeah. James, how are you, James? Fine, teacher. How are you? Fine. Sí. <laughs> yes. <laughs> today, today is the last day of, of class. Tomorrow, no class. No. Um, uh, for day, uh, father, uh, ah, celebration. Father. Yeah, you celebrated yesterday. Correct. <clears throat> How are you, Brenda? Hi, teacher. Good night. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> good night. Hey, good evening. Es de las seis. Uh -huh. A las. 7.30, something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's good night. Okay, just give me give me a second. I'm going to stop the video a little moment. Mm, for the class. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the, the, the lens was dirty. Okay, we're going to we're going to begin today. Today we have a lot of a lot of things to do. Did you did you complete the exercise from yesterday? No. The exercise from uh, the exercise at the end of the of the class. Do you remember? No. No. Okay. Maybe 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 today we have time so we can see the answers at the end. Okay. Uh, we're gonna begin today uh, sharing some. Let me see. It's gonna be here. All right. Well, today is class number twelve. All right. Today is class number twelve. And um, we're going to begin. Hi, Katia. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine. Thank you. Okay. We're going to begin today with, well, today we're going to learn how to use the auxiliary rule. All right. Very good. That is what we're going to learn. Sorry, it's my parrot. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to learn how to use the auxiliary wool, all right, for making invitations to other people or when we are making plans to, to go out with, with other people, right? Okay, so what comes next is this. All right, so here we have um, some activities that we can do in the free time. Give me a second, please. Watch TV. Hey everybody, I, I have to move my, my pet because if not, it's got, it was going to be making a lot of noise. I have a little parrot. <laughs> Okay, so, so here we have some time activities, all right? Uh, activities that we can do when we are, for example, Saturday uh, at home or Sunday uh, to go out. So Herman, can you please help me read? I'm going to point the, the phrase that I want you to read. Okay. Uh, read this what, one. What TV? What TV? Okay. What TV? okay. Listen to music. Okay. Play on instruments. Oh, play an instrument. Okay, play an instrument. Okay. Spend time with my family. All right. Thank you, Herman, very much. Thank you. Katia, can you help me with the second group, please? Okay. Uh, go to the movies. Grill. Go shopping. Yeah. Go out with friends. 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mercedes, can you help me with number three? Uh, yes, uh, play video games, surf the internet, yeah. do play sport, yeah. and study. Thank you very much. So these are activities that we can do in our free time, all right? So, for example, from these movies, from these movies, I'm sorry, from these activities, which activities do you like doing? For example, um, Theo, from these activities sí. that you can see here, uh, which is your, your favorite? Uh, 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 watch TV. Oh, watch TV. Okay. What about for you, Ellie? Listen to them. Sorry? Sorry, Ellie, can you repeat, please? Okay, maybe there are some, some, some problems. James, what about for you? What? Um, From these activities, which okay, is your favorite? Okay, play the sport. Oh, play what? sports. Correct. Okay. Yeah, oh, in here we can have do or play a sport do play. because... Do. Cualquiera de los dos puede ser. Eh, but for example, vamos a usar el verbo play. We're going to use the verb play when we uh, use a ball in the sport. All right? For example, for example, play basketball, play soccer, play tennis, because all sports have a ball. And do is, for example, do martial arts, do karate, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Now, let me Peter, see. Yeah? What do different do play? Do sport or play sport? No, no, no understand. Ah, okay. The difference is play is when you use a ball to play the sport. Mm -hmm. For example soccer, play basketball, all the sports where you use a ball is play. <coughs> is clear? Sí, yes. Clear. And do is for sports where you use all your body, all your body. For example, do karate, do karate, um, do yoga, nope. do exercise, all right? Because you use all your body. Is it clear? Okay. 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 Uh, please uh, take a take a picture. You have the picture? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now that you have the picture, we're gonna go and practice uh, this question. We're gonna practice this question with your classmates. All right. The question is. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? All right, very good. For example, you can say, I, I watch TV, I listen to music, I do sports, I read books, etc. So from the activities, from the activities that we have, oh, sorry. From the activities that we have in the picture, all right, you're gonna make sentences, aunque no las haga, even though you don't do it, but I want you to practice making the sentences. Is it clear? Okay. Yeah, so the question will be, what do you do in your free time? 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 Exactly. What do you do? We're gonna. This is this is this is link. What do you do? do, you do? What do you do in your? What do you do in your free time? Your. What do you do in your free time? Excellent. Very good. What do you do in your free time? And you will say, What do you do in your free time? Sorry. Let me see. What do you do in your free time? I watch TV. Exactly. Oh, I watch TV. What do you do in your free time? Oh, I go to the movies. What do you do in your free time? Okay, I want you to practice that. Okay, so we're going to stop the share. And 
I have Dennis, Grecia, all right, and, and, and James and Francisco and, okay. So we're gonna practice questions. All right, let me see. You to the, to the small rooms. Let me see how many you are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're gonna make, okay. So we're gonna practice, maybe five minutes we're gonna practice. Okay, bye bye everybody. We're gonna ask and answer the questions. What do you do in your free time? Okay, remember the question. Okay, okay. For free time. Write a book. Read. I. Perdón. I read. Pero, pero ese es para, para leer, ¿verdad? Ah, y you para escribir, write. Para write. I write. Ajá, I write a book. Oh, really? Wow. Eh, eh, co la, la cocina, ¿cómo se dice? I, I, I... You cook. <laughs> sí. Para decir que yo cocino, I, I cook. I cook. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay Herman, what do you do in your free time? I, um, I surf the internet. Sí. What do you do in your free time, Grecia? I watch TV. Okay. And I I read the book. Solo sé de que ahorita nos mandaron este nos mandaron un cuadrito, ¿verdad? De para que nosotros yeah. Yeah, you have to ask the question, what do you do in your free time? Yeah, what ah. in your free time? Tal vez es puede usar al eh, practicar a Dennis y a Michelle y después le preguntan a usted, all right? Okay. What happened to you? Okay. I know. think Dennis has a problem with the internet. <laughs> oh, with the internet. Ah, okay, he's there again. <laughs> Dennis. 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 Eh, ok, Michelle, we're gonna practice. A moving. Así sería, ¿verdad? Yo le preguntaría. Vale, voy a practicar. Go to a ok, Michelle, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like to read, uh, I like to watch movie and spend time with my family. Ok, Dennis, what do you do in your free time? Sorry, teacher, my internet is very poor in this moment. Ah, okay, you have a, a slow internet. So maybe, Michelle, you can ask the question to Ceci, what do you do in your free time? And maybe you can help me to, to, to help her to make the sentences, please. Okay, uh, yes. I, I have the I, I, I um... play video games. Okay. And listen to music. Me too. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> you can, you teacher, can what do you do in your, in your free time? In my free time? Oh, yeah. Well, in this in this quarantine, I have a lot of free time. Ah, <laughs> in, in, in this quarantine. But in my free time, I read books. Yeah, I I love books. I listen to music, I watch TV, let me see, I check my social networks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and you, Ellie, what do you do in your free time? 
I, I watch TV, I listen to music, I read the book or newspaper, uh -huh. and I, I exercise, excuse me, I do exercise, I do yoga. Wow, you are, you are very busy, ocupada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, teacher again. Hello, teacher. So, Hello, Ceci. <laughs> Hi, Ceci. Hello. Hello, Bella, que mal uh, walk, all right. <laughs> yes, teacher Ruth, I just have a question. Yes, uh, okay. in, this, uh, in this answer, we are going to use on the base for the verb, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, because you are not using light. Si quiere usar okay. like, entonces vamos a decir I like, for example, reading. But it's okay. possible to say only I read. Lo vamos a hacer, lo voy a escribir acá. All right? Yeah. It, In it, that one, we use with ing. Exactly. Es que no, a veces nos gusta usar el verbo like. All right? <laughs> <laughs> But in this case, the question is, what do you do in your free time? Pero si quisiéramos okay. eh, decir like is, what do you like doing? Okay. In your free time. What do you like doing in your free time? And the answer is, I like reading. I like, for example, uh, watching movies. All right? All right. Yeah, but you can answer, you can answer, mm -hmm. I watch TV or I like watching TV. You need to follow the, the, the rule. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Um, Mercedes, can you ask a question to Dennis, please? I don't know if Dennis is there. <laughs> Dennis, are you yes, there? Sir, I'm here. Okay, Dennis. Uh, what do you do in your free time, Denny? I play an instrument. I play video, video games. I listen to music. Excellent, Dennis. Very good. The sentences have to be complete. Thank you, Mercedes. Uh, Dennis, ask a question to Grecia, please. Okay, teacher. Grecia. What do you do in your free time? I go out with my friends and I go to the movies. Okay, thank you very much, Grecia. Grecia, ask a question to Brenda, please. Brenda, what do you do in your free time? I play uh, soccer with my brother. I go to the movies and I go to the supermarket. Very good. Thank you very much, Brenda. Brenda, ask a question to Herman. Okay. Herman, what do you do in your free time? I, I watch TV, I listen to music. I real, I uh, spend time with my family. Sorry, I muted my, my microphone because the dogs on the street are angry. <laughs> <laughs> they are fighting outside. Yeah, yeah they, are, they are angry. When they are angry, they begin barking. Okay. Yes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to watch a video because today we're going to learn the, um, and a structure, all right, to invite people. For example, hey, quieres ir conmigo al cine? All right, we're gonna learn that. Eso vamos a aprender ahorita, okay? How to say that. But for that, we're gonna watch um, a video, okay? It, it is a video from the platform. Okay, let me see, sorry. Okay. It is a video from the platform, okay? Actually, it's a conversation. So please, let's watch this. 
and listen. Want to have dinner at used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. I'm, I'm going to repeat. All right. I'm going to repeat the conversation. And I want you to pay attention to the pronunciation. See, if you pay attention, the pronunciation is like, I see you there at 7.30 with my friend. <laughs> yeah? If you listen to the pronunciation, it's very, like, very picky. Picky. <laughs> Elegant, all right? Because for speaking English, you have to you have to make an effort to pronounce like picky. Okay? So listen okay. to the pronunciation and organizing. Okay. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Did you listen how they say, see you there? Did you listen? <laughs> yeah. It, wa it was yeah. not like, see you there. It's, see you there. See you there. <laughs> All right. See yeah, you have, to, you, have, you have to make an effort. It, I, I would say, tenemos que, like, like yeah, we have to pretend to uh, English because uh, Spanish is a very strong, strong accent. So Eng English is more like soft and sophisticated. All right. Pero usted va a ir hallando su, su pronunciación. All right. You're going to be searching your, your, your rhythm of pronunciation. Now, um, what we're going to see right now is what we're going to study today. Oh, sorry. Stop the share. Is here. Okay, this is what we're gonna continue. Well, if you if you paid attention in the conversation, we read three expression. Would you like to? Yeah. Uh, do you want to? And let's go to. Now, these are three ways or three forms to invite someone. For example, Herman, would you like to go out with me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, very good. All right. Uh, Mercedes, do you want yes. to go to the movies with me? I love to. <laughs> okay, very good. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see who else is there. Um, Michelle, let's go to the movies. Michelle. <laughs> okay, Michelle, the answer in that is okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Ben. Ah, okay, Hi. no problem. All right. Michelle, let's go to the movies. Okay, let's go. Exactly. Very good. 
So, las primeras dos, the first two are questions. So, would you like to go to the movies with me? Would you like to cook with me? Would you like to dance with me? Dancing. Yeah. Dance, yes. Um, the good thing about this, the good thing about this is que después del, del to, el verbo que vamos a usar es forma base, okay? No ing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it for the three. Okay, if you pay attention for the three, el verbo es igual, the verb is the same. So, would you like, for, uh, here we have some examples. Here we have some examples. Okay, would you like to go to the beach with me? To the beach, beach, all right? Would you like to go to the beach with me? Do you want to go to the beach with me? Hey, let's go to the beach together. All right, beach is a long sound. Huh. All right, very good. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, yes it's clear. clear. Yeah, it is, it is not difficult, all right? Would you like, would you like to dance with me? Would, do you want to dance with me? Uh, this one is like more formal. Would you like is more formal. Do you want is the most common. Okay? And let's go. Ni preguntan ahí. Solo vámonos. Let's go. Okay? Very good. So, I will repeat. The first one is formal. The second is like the normal stuff. All right. Do you want to dance with me? And let's go to, is, it is an invitation. Is it clear? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, yes. teacher. Yes. Um, in que question and good you uh, with user uh, for uh, verbs. Uh, sorry, can you repeat, please? And mm, the question would would you like and mm, mm, your verb uh, user verb and. Uh, Indifferent verb or ah yeah 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 do you, you want do you want uh -huh. ah okay for this question would you like is would you like mm -hmm. okay like that always no do podemos you want... cambiar el like uh -huh. would you want no is would you like it's different and you would you like do you want um. It is not different. The difference is that one is formal and another is informal. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so would you like is it is formal and do you want to it is informal. It's like everyday okay. English. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Brenda, you have a question? Yes, uh, can you repeat the correct answer to the uh, first question with use Google? Ah, would you like to? Yes, but the correct ah. answer because in the second I can do, I can say I, 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 yes, I do, but in the first. Oh, in the first, eso lo vamos a ver un poquito más adelante, pero pueden decir, for example, yes, I'd like, or yes, it will be fine. We're gonna, we're gonna learn that later. Ahorita, ah. cuando mientras vayamos a la práctica, you can only say yes. Brenda, okay? Yes, I like. I like. Uh, or, or yeah, I like. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the answer. Thank you. Yes, I, I like. like it. I like it. Okay. Ah. Yes, I, I like, like it. it. Mm -hmm. Or instead of like, you can say love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sí, me, me gustaría. Yes, I'd like it. Or yes, I'd love it. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if this is clear, please take, a, take a, a, a picture or maybe you can take notes on your notebooks as you feel more, more comfortable. What we're going to do right now is, do you have your picture? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, yes. We're gonna we're gonna practice. Okay. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna practice. 
here. Okay, here we have some. Ooh. Sorry. Okay, here we have some expressions. All right. For example, let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna erase this. All right, because I don't want you to confuse. Okay. Now, um, do you know the meaning of go hiking? Okay, go hiking is like caminata. Okay, go hiking. Sedentarismo, le dicen. Senderismo. Senderismo, yes. Senderismo. Yes. Yeah. Sedentarismo is like, oh, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. Okay. Go to a movie. Do you know the meaning of this? Uh, yes. Yes, all right. Have lunch. Okay, okay, have dinner, take a walk, tomar un paseo, take a walk, dar un paseo. Exactly, take a walk. All right, okay, make a sand castle. Un castillo de arena, hacer un castillo de arena. Exactly, make a sand castle. That's the pronunciation, sand castle. Sand castle. Here we just go to the park, all right, or go to the park as you feel more comfortable. Yeah, come to my party, play video games, all right, go shopping, ball, come to the picnic, go to the beach. Esas no son muy difíciles de entender, right? No, not difficult? No, no, all right. Ah, this one is, this one is new. Esta es nueva. Come to my ah, farewell sí, sí. party. ¿Cómo, cómo es? Farewell. Oh, come to my farewell party. Farewell party. What's the meaning of that? Yeah, mi fiesta de despedida. Ah. Mm -hmm. For example, when you, when you... Maybe you are moving to a new job. You're getting married. So you will have a single farewell party. Okay. What about the next one? Go skiing. Go skiing. Ir a esquiar. Yes, very good. Hang out this weekend. Fin de semana. Este, perdón. Salir el fin de semana. Exactly. Salir a pasear, right? Go ice skating in El Salvador is not possible. Ir de patine, de patinaje, no, right? Yes, in galerías. Was, galerías, uh, really. Yes, yes uh, Christmas. Ah, really. En el pasado creo que había una pista de patinaje. Oh, okay. en el volcán también. Oh, pero eso fue, uh, uh, ¿verdad? A long time, a long time ago. A <laughs> long time ago. ago. Okay. okay. Come to my pizza party. Woo, this is so nice. Ooh. Yes, eh, come to my pizza de party. Pizza. Eh, 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 existirá eso. Este eh, nowadays, children in the birthday. Okay, go to the lake or go to the lake and eh, go to the go festival. To the lago, oh, vamos al lago. Exactly, vamos, y vamos a, a ir al lago, vamos al lago, go to the lake and go to the festival. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? All right, pay attention to this. I'm going to... What we're going to do is, using these expressions, you're going to invent... Usted va a invitar a sus compañeros, right? You will invite your classmates with eh, these eh, questions. Eh, eh, tendríamos que decir entonces, what do you like to? Exactly, Dan. very good. Oh, so you have sería, to say... Do you want to? Exactly. Or let's go to. Okay. Go For example, Mercedes, one. would you like to go hiking with me? Let's go. Ah, it's a yam. Would you like to? Would you go like hiking? to higging? Higging. Go hiking. I perdón, go, go hiking. Uh -huh. So the question is, uh, would you like to go hiking with me? Okay. With me? 
Uh -huh. Or do you want to go hiking with me? Do you with want to go to movie? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you want to go to a movie with me? At the end, you can with say me? with me. All right. With me. Yeah. Do with you want me. to go hiking to with go me? To going uh, with me. Uh -huh. Okay, so you say, do you want to with go me. hiking with me? Is it clear, everybody? Yes. yes yeah, okay, yes. very good. So please take yes. a picture of this. Ah, well, creo que se las mandé, ¿verdad? I, I sent sí, the, sí, the picture. Sí, sí. All right. Yes, I have okay, picture. so we're going to stop the share and we're going to go and practice the questions. La, para, para hacer la práctica mejor vamos a hacer esto. Uno pregunta, otro contesta. El que contestó pregunta de otra manera y el otro contesta. That's what we're going to do. So we can practice the structure, all right? It is something very easy. It is not difficult. Pero si lo hacemos bien, despacito, all right? It's going to be better. It's going to be better. So let me see. We're going to go. Okay, let me see. And the, the rooms are okay, okay? We're going to go and practice. I'm going to give you some minutes. Bye-bye, everybody. Let's go and practice. Bye. <laughs> yes. Michelle, are you there? Yes, I like it. Okay. Uh, Herman, do you want to... Do it pizza with me? Yes, I like it. Ah, very good. So, Herman, you can say, yes, I'd, I'd like it. I, okay. Yes, I like it. Very good. Because if I, you only say, I like it, lo podemos confundir con me gusta a decir me gustaría. Okay? Yes. It, yeah, yeah. You have to say, I'd. All right. Okay. Continue. Continue. Yes. Uh, do you want to go shopping with me, uh, Theo? Uh, yes. Uh, perdón. Uh, I like to to shopping. Okay. Do you want to uh, watch TV? Yes. I I like it. Yes, I, I come to the picnic. I no. like. No, yes, I would like it. I go. I yeah, you can say no, I I would like it, or you can make a contraction. I. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, if the, if the 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 answer in negative, we say a no. Okay. No, I. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> only. Okay. Yeah, only, only that. Only that. Okay. No, thank you. Uh, okay. No thanks. Mm -hmm. Ya okay. vamos a ver otras respuestas más adelantito. Uh -huh. Ah, bye. Gracias. Yes. Ok, ok. Continue, ya. Yeah. Eh, do you want to... Picnic? No. Let's go to come to the picnic. Julio. Uh, yes, I like. Ah, ok. You can say yes, 
I'd like it. Yes, I Okay. Yes, you I have to like make it. You have to make the difference. You, if you say, I like it, está diciendo me gusta. You have to say, I'd like it. Oh, I could like, like. I could uh -huh, like. Or I would like it. Mm -hmm. But it's, it, Thank it's you, more, teacher. Yeah, but it's more common if they if you say yes, I like it. I mm -hmm. like it. Thank you. I'd. All right, very good. Okay, continue. Okay. Thank you, Katia. <laughs> would you like to come to my farewell party? Yes, I would like it. Uh, do you want to go skiing, Julio? Yes, I like it. I like it. Okay. You have to do the question, Julio. Uh, uh, do you want to go out this weekend? Mm, yes, I, I, yes, I want to go. Okay. Eh, en otro en otro salón en otro room me preguntaron teacher y si yo quiero decir que no <laughs> so the answer is the answer no thanks no thanks okay no thanks like that teacher would you like to go out with me mm -hmm. no thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, okay continue okay Katia uh, do you want to go? Yes, I would like it. I would like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you want to play volleyball for uh, with me? Yes, I would like it. Okay. Excuse me. Don't worry. <laughs> The little dog is angry. Ah, es muy tremendo estar ladrando porque alguien quizás pasó, alguna hoja se cayó, es muy tremendo. <laughs> My dog is similar too. Ah, es terrible, perrito. Yeah, um, okay, no problem. Uh, Ay, déjelo, no, no, no hay problema. Yeah, don't worry. Thanks. Okay, mm, question. Um, do you want to go to a movie? With me. Yes, I would like it. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, do you want to dance with me? Yes, I like, I would like him. Okay. Very Thanks. good, perfect. Okay, in one second, let's go. Okay, everybody, you have a lot of invitations today. Yes. And would you like to go out with me? Yeah, would you like to go to the movies with me? Yes, all right, very good. Hi, Julio. No, teacher. You are working, Julio. Of course. But Hi, Julio, but congratulations. Congratulations because you are here, okay? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, all right. It, it is. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Okay, gonna go to the next step. All right, and uh, let me see. We're gonna go to another conversation. All right. Now we're gonna go to another conversation. Let me see. Let me. Let me move. Okay, because we're gonna go to. Okay. Now we're going to see the structure of, ya vimos como preguntar para invitar, all right? Now we're going to learn how to answer. So how can we accept? All right, how can we accept the invitation? All right? Let's listen to this. equals I would. At the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. 
remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus examples I would love to go to her new house but I can't I would like to go to her new house but I can't okay sorry for my face okay uh, do you want me to repeat yes, yes. okay yes, all right yes. all right okay take notes take yes, notes yes. Yeah, tal vez cuando miran la fórmula si usted dice ay Dios mío que es esto all right but don't worry because we're gonna practice okay by the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. In order to accept an invitation, we need to... Okay, so this is the structure when we want to accept an invitation, a complete sentence. That's all, a complete sentence. I would like to go to her new house. Or you can say, yes, I would like to go. All right. Or yes, I would like to. Or yes, I'd like to. Or you can say, oh, yes, I would love to go to her new house. Or you can say, yes, I would love to go. Or yes, I would love to. All right. You can answer in different ways. All right. You can answer in different ways the question. Or simply you can say yes. All right. Very good. But this is the grammar a structure that is correct and for refusing for refusing we have i would love to go to her new house but this is the the, the refuse but i can't or the same now i I'm, i have it i have it but in a in an easy way in an easier way all right very good so if we want to do it in an easier way, we have it here. Okay, this is a, a practice that we're gonna have. For example, the question says, the question says, would you like to go to my birthday party? 
And you can answer in different, in some possible answers. These are the affirmative answers and these are the negative answers. For example, would you like to go to my birthday party? Yes, I'd love to. Sure, thanks. Yes, I'd like it. And in the negative form? No, thank you. Sorry, it's not possible. I'm afraid, aquí era un apóstrofe, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't. Me temo que no puedo. Or you can say only no. Is it clear? Yeah, it's difficult? Yes. It's mm. difficult. So, so. No. So, so. We need to practice. Y eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Bye. Take a picture from this, please. Okay, you have the picture? No. Yes. 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 Said no. Do you have the picture? Yes. 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 So, would you like, aquí podemos, aquí solo vamos a preguntar de dos maneras. Would you like to or do you want? All right? So, would you like to go to my birthday party? Would you like to go to my house? Would you like to go to a concert? Would you like to go to the movies? All right, that's what we're going to, or do you want to go to a concert? Do you want to? Uh, go to a soccer match. We're gonna use the verb go. All right. So let me see. I do the last practice. Vamos a hacer la última práctica. The last practice. So, okay. Let's go. Remember, would you like to or do you want to? And you have the possible answers over there. Okay? Espérenme la respuesta. Yes. Eh, es la primera va. Yes. 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 Eh, sí. para decir este, para contestarlo. Lo, ah, sí, ahí está. Yes. I. I delight. I love to. I love to. I'd. Yes. I. Con con yes, I, uh -huh. I, I'd, I'd love to. I love to. Okay. okay. Would you like to go to my house, Herman? Yes, I love to. Ah, okay, very good. You have a lot of invitations today, Herman. Okay. Uh, would you like to to go to a concert? Computadora de cuarto. Ah, yes, I I I would like it. Okay. Would you like to go shopping? No, thank you. Would you like to go to go swim, swimming, swimming, swimming? swimming. swimming. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I would like it. Okay. Would you like to Would you like to go play basketball? No, uh, no, thank you. Okay. Excellent would job. Like okay. Uh, would Jane? you like? Can be a place where are a lot of computers. Sure. Thanks. Okay. And 
do you want to go to a soccer match with me? <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, I would love to. Sure, thanks. <laughs> I can't play soccer, teacher. <laughs> About it, I, I smile. Oh. You don't. You don't like soccer? No, I I like seeing soccer, but I can't play soccer. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, yeah, me me neither. I I can't play. But I like watching. Yes. Good. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's finished. Yeah, yes. we finished. Four. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Sorry. Sorry, I always forget. You can continue practicing, all right? Siempre es bueno que después de que terminen la clase, pues... <coughs> Otra vez para repasar, all right? Watch the, the video to, to, to make a little review. Well, uh, thank you very much, everybody. No class tomorrow, no class Saturday. No class until Monday. La otra semana es la última, así que trate de trabajarme la plataforma. Ya tendría que ir en la sección 4. ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, weekend. Yeah, okay. So happy, happy weekend, everybody. Happy I'm weekend. Happy you. weekend. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.